Just two weeks after the Turkish government announced the start of the Turkish utility helicopter program TUHP to build a fleet of multi-role T-70 utility helicopters based on the S-70 Black Hawk aircraft. Sikorsky, a Lockheed Martin company, has accepted the program's prototype aircraft produced by its Polish subsidiary PZL Mirlis. On time delivery and the exceptional quality of this S-70i helicopter is a great start to the Turkish Utility Helicopter Program, said Jason Lambert, Sikorsky TUHP Program Director. The success of this important milestone was achieved through the dedication of the PZL Mirlis workforce and Sikorsky engineering team, which also incorporated Black Hawk mission equipment options into the prototype helicopter for international delivery from Poland. Sikorsky accepted the TUHP prototype aircraft from PZL Mirlis. During a June 22 ceremony attended by senior leaders from the Turkish Under Secretariat for Defense Industries SSM, Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, ASELSIN and ALP Aviation. The TUHP prototype is the 37th S-70I Black Hawk helicopter built in Poland. Among the modifications that PZL Mirlis added to the aircraft were a rescue hoist, internal auxiliary fuel tank, cargo hook, integrated vehicle health management system, a blade bracing system, and a rotor brake. In early 2017, Sikorsky will fly the prototype aircraft to Ankara where it will become the engineering development test bed for a new avionics suite being co-developed by Sikorsky and Turkish Defense Electronics company Aselsen. The two companies will use the aircraft to integrate flight test and qualify the avionics suite which is designed to the preferences of the T-70 user community. Contractual agreements approved by the U.S. and Turkish government's license tie to build and deliver a total of 300 T-70 helicopters, 109 baseline plus 191 options, to six Turkish agencies. The land forces, air force, gendarme, special forces, national police, and a directorate general of forestry. The first Turkish-built T-70 aircraft will be certified and qualified for delivery to the Turkish government in 2021.